Hi guys, I'm Shmi, and for the last few days, I've been driving around in the Tesla Model S P85D. It's the first time I've spent a significant amount of time with an electric car, and what an eye-opener it has been. The amount of torque this thing has is truly insane. Quite literally is insane. If you put it in the insane mode and do a launch control, it's absolutely breathtaking. I've done a separate video showing you some full, sort of in, more in-depth driving impressions with the car, but today is going to be all about getting it charged up. Of course, being full electric, no hybrid, no hybrid powertrain or internal generator or anything, there's no way to charge the batteries other than quite literally plugging it in. Now, the infrastructure in London is a little bit behind some of the other cities around the world, hence why Teslas are a little bit later arriving here than we've had in other places, but they are starting to install a lot of supercharger locations, Tesla's own very fast high-speed locations, and one of which I'm going to try and find today. So that will be the way I'm going to be charging it up. You can, of course, also take the car, plug it in in your garage. If you install a charging point in your garage, you can charge it up overnight and get the power back. Uh, but given I've only got the car for a couple of days, that would have been a little bit extreme to go to quite those efforts to get one installed. And there are no power points in my garage, unfortunately, so I wasn't able to. Now, on a good run, you can actually get around 300 miles out of one of these Ferrari 360, just going past there. Um, so 300 miles is the typical range if you charge it to 100%. Realistically, you charge it up to about 80% each time to prolong the battery life. So you're going to get about 240 miles out of a tank. And I have to say, it hasn't been too bad. I've been quite close to the mark, quite close to the sort of expected range, but I haven't sat too much in traffic. And town usage hasn't been as bad as I thought it could be either. So that's been pretty good. Um, so like I said, there are a couple of different ways to charge it up. What I'm going to do now is jump inside and show you the navigation system that helps us make all of this a little bit easier. As we walk to the car, it opens itself. I don't think that will ever get boring. I love it so much. So here we go. A couple of quick things. You can see the recent consumption. It gives you the sort of typical government claimed line and then your recent average. So you can see yesterday that was just cruising on a 50 mile per hour road, I think. And then this is the bit in London where you can see there's been a little bit more usage. So I've only got 33 miles range, which isn't the most in the world. And we're currently in Hyde Park, bang in the center of London and everything is controlled. I'm going to show you in a separate piece through this massive central display and control system. We're sort of nicknaming it the uh, iPhone 10 Plus just because it's so big. It's like, put that up to your ear. Um, so what we're gonna do now in the navigation, you can set that to go full screen to make this a little bit easier. He says, there we go. Um, if we go places, brings up a list of superchargers. So this is all the superchargers. Um, and obviously the car's connected, so this is an updated downloaded list through um, a data connection. Um, obviously normal navigation stuff is in recents, but you can see we've got a couple around here, not too many miles away in central London. You know, these are all, I think the most central one is the top one, which is where we're going to go, the Westfield Shopping Centre in the middle car park. So we'll aim for that, which is only 2.2 miles away. But one of the fun things I really like is if you set this navigation for a long distance, like if you set it to drive you, um, and maybe I'll try this actually because we did it once before, so it will be in the recents. Let's just set it to this place in uh, somewhere in France, 400 miles away, um, just for sheer giggles and see what it does. Now what it's doing is finding superchargers. So it's gonna give us a route to that destination that takes into account the fact um, that it's gonna have to charge up and stop on the way. Um, in theory, if it uh, wants to give us that. Here we go. So it's telling us the first place we need to go is Canary Wharf because we don't have much range. Canary Wharf is in the east of London, so that's on the way towards the Channel Tunnel. So it's going to give us um, that destination. And then it will work out the next one we have to go to eventually after that. It's all based on 3G. Maybe my signal here is a little bit weak, which is why it's taking a while to um, think about this. Um, so it'll go from there. Um, and then when we get there, it'll take us to the next one. Although I thought maybe it would tell us all of the whole route we had to take now. But I guess because we're so low on power, it's just taking us there to start. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just set it straight to the nearest one because that's where I want to go um, to get rid of this uh, low power bar, um, which is up here. Um, there's a little version of what you have in the center of the main display. And I love that little navigation you have up there as well. Um, but we're going to go to the Westfield one, which is not very far away at all from me here. 2.9 mile drive, 11 minutes. Uh, nope, 14 minutes. Apparently there's probably some traffic or something, so it's recalculated. So I'm going to aim for that and go and get this car charged up.
Just like I said in my full video, the thing that's getting me the most with this car is how unbelievably silent it is. I mean, I know I'm just sat still right now, but there are cars going past and you barely hear anything from them. It's truly, truly extraordinary. And as I pull away, obviously, nothing but the click of the indicator. Turn that off. And it's just the gentle whir as you accelerate. It's such, such a strange experience, but so cool anyway. I talked a little bit more about that. But one of the things it has is when you come to a sort of slow down, when you just lift off, it has a regeneration. So it's using the braking power to charge the battery. And you can change the settings for the strength of that. So I think it's on the full normal mode at the moment. But uh, just little things to try and keep as much power as possible out of it. Well, I'm nearly there and I've got plenty of charge left. 30 miles range still to go, which in London, 30 miles is enough to take you a very, very long way. Um, this is Westfield, the shopping center. Uh, which is a pretty massive place so i guess the theory is you go in park in the garage charge it up and then go upstairs and do some shopping or whatnot and just get back to 100 percent while you're getting on with your normal tasks the tricky bit of all of this for me is going to be working out where on earth i go to find the tesla supercharger points that are here because I'm not a frequent visitor to Westfield, so I don't know very much about it. I've read that it's the middle car park, but this is always going to be an amusing test of how can I find where I'm going to. Um, so I'll head in through here, parking upper, middle or lower, right? So we can go to middle. That should be easy enough. Got to choose the left or right side here. There are more things labeled to the left, so let's go left. <laughs> very scientific process working this out. You do have to take a parking ticket. And given that I'm driving a left-hand drive car, I'm actually gonna have to jump out and run around. So that's gonna be quite funny. <laughs> um, oops, um, I don't think, yeah, there's quite a wide car, so I can't really reach out that side. Um, that was perhaps not the best planning of me, uh, but it'll be entertaining. So where's middle? How do I find middle? Is this middle? No, this way is middle, okay. Down here and then straight ahead ah sign tesla supercharger middle car park good i like this it's making my life easy a little cute though it's looking pretty busy which i wasn't necessarily expecting yeah the park and run park and run There we go, right, and seatbelt on, so much to think about. Okay, where do I go to find the supercharger? Follow it round. Are there signs? Is there anything telling me where to go? Am I being silly? Oh dear. Oh dear. Where do I go? Where are the Tesla plugs? Oh look, there's a rose gold. There's a rose gold Gallardo Performante down there. That's uh, unusual. Okay, well that was a, a good distraction to the valley area. Um, but that's not helping me find the superchargers. That was all getting a little bit hopeless, so I stopped to ask somebody, and here we are. We've got the Tesla charging points, and there are surprisingly a large number of cars here. I wasn't necessarily expecting so many. Now, for the supercharger, you have to park in reverse, but you do have this fantastic high resolution um, rear camera to do so. And the reason for that is because the charging point is at the back of the car and the um, cable is built into the machine so you don't actually have to use anything. So let's park it up like that, then stop the car. You literally stop, let's jump out and have a look. This is all totally new to me, but this is a Tesla supercharger. And the main point of this is that you can get 50% of your charge back in 20 minutes or you can get 80% of your charge back in 40 minutes. So it charges the thing pretty quickly. Charge points back here, but I'm just gonna open the boot for a second. If you weren't here at a supercharger, whereby you can just take this out and plug it in, um, the car has various other cables because there are different types of charging points. Uh, sorry, I've just realized it's spectacularly dark down here, so I'll lift these out. But you have these other cables, depending where you are to charge up your car, and then this one. And um, 
you sign up and get sort of a membership to um, the different charging stations. So I've got the cards for those as well. Um, I've got to work out how to do this because I've never done it and I've not looked at the instructions. How do you open the charge point? Maybe that's inside the door somewhere. So open it up. I feel like that would be here. Nope. I'm now the one who's walking around looking like an idiot. How do you open this? It's here somewhere. It's this. Um, something on the key. There we go. Intuition. Press and hold the boot button. Didn't even know that. That was literally just having a go. Okay. Well done, Tesla. Right, so now what do you do? Literally is just take this, which is a pretty beefy cable. Um, make sure it's the right way up and plug that in there. Is that it? Yep, heard it lock. Starts flashing green. I guess that means it's charging. We've got some flashing going on here as well. Presumably, that is now this car on the charge. And now I would go and spend some time chilling around upstairs, getting on with whatever I need to do while the car charges up along this line of other Tesla's. I like the blue one a lot. Another Dutch car. I wonder if that's a press one too, over here. That's nice, very nice color. Um, and that's how that process works. That was actually, apart from finding it, that was the tricky bit, getting here and uh, finding this place in the shopping center. But normally they would be outside dealers or somewhere a little bit more obvious or the side of the road in a car park or something. And this place, Westfield, is a massive maze. So apart from finding it, that was really easy. Now it's a uh, quarter to four. I can let it charge up and come back. I don't need too much juice, maybe 50% will do, and come back in 20 minutes and uh, drive it away. Before I leave the car, I notice it gives you a nice big display that you can see from the outside showing the charge and showing how much you've got left. So it's an hour to get back up to the percentage that this car is set to. I wonder if you open the door, the dials change. Ah, let's put it on the central screen. So you can set the charge limit and set whether it charges up to 80% or all the way up to 100 um, depending what usage you want. Maybe it takes slightly longer, one hour, um, on the P85D. Uh, but you get a little bit of information there. I guess since I plugged it in already, is that saying I can do seven miles extra range? Um, 42 miles total, yeah, I think that's what's going on. You can watch it counting up. That's kind of cool. This is all going just as quickly as they say it is. And I've been here now for about 20 minutes. And if I come around and show you on the screen, We've got 154 miles range now and over 50% of the charge um, is in. So that's, well, 20 minutes to get that first sort of 50% mark and then it sort of takes a little bit longer to fill it up from there. So it's 30 minutes to full. So I guess it's another 20 minutes to get to 80%, well, less than 20 minutes um, to get to 80%. But that's enough for me from where I'm going now, back to the Tesla dealership. I'm not going too far, so I can literally just unplug this which you do by pressing the button and pulling it out and the lights flash blue. And I guess that knows, lets you know it's done. Plug this back into the supercharger point, um, which you do, oh, it must be magnetic. Just balances in there. Close that up. And that's now, I guess, locked with the car. Um, super easy. Some of the other Teslas have come and gone while I've been here. And I'm just gonna open the car. Did that with the key, because I had been standing too close, so it didn't. Um, no to ask me and then you would literally just jump in and drive off okay then ready to go all you do fill on the brake into drive and away we go it is such a strange experience driving this car the silence the effortlessness it's all just like it's a recalibration of what you think you know about cars and the way cars work I am, however, about to get to the exit where I'm going to have to get out and run around again, which is going to be quite funny. But that was a pretty pain-free process, to be honest. Um, you just have to, I guess, plan it ahead of time. And if you do so, if you're doing a long drive, you can make sure that you stop in appropriate places and that's when you get food or, you know, just like you would anyway. Because if you do petrol station stops so frequently, they become half an hour stopped or something anyway. Um, so you just get that juice up and we've got 173 miles range now which is more than enough. Okay, back into park, run around, I'll be back. Oh, 
Oh, I don't feel even remotely stupid doing that. <laughs> oh, I haven't shut the door. Into drive. <laughs> oh dear. Not making life easy for myself, am I? I have arrived back at Tesla and I'm gonna get out and plug the car back in. It's kind of funny seeing so many around. Here we are. So uh, back at the supercharger that they have here, but I needed that extra juice up to get the car back here earlier. So, just the key again. It opens up. Let's plug this in. Plug it out, there we go. And it's back on charge. So that's quite easy to do when you know what you're doing. It's been a lot of fun with this car. Really, really, really enjoyed the experience. First time for everything. So plugging it in, running a car that's fully electric and the whole sort of feel of the massive amounts of torque that you get when you're driving with it. So kind of sad that I have to leave it here now, but it's been a lot of fun. So well, there you go. You've seen how it works. Plugging a Tesla into the superchargers, of which there are quite a few around and about. And the car's pretty good at letting you know how to find them and make them get all the way along your journey without having too much trouble. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out the other videos I've been sh shooting with the P85D and I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers. So the key itself is a very elegant little piece. It's a sort of model car, if you will. And as so I walk up to What we're looking at here initially is just the, st the turn on screen I've got set, which has these two. I'm going to be jumping on board the Delta Red 675LT with Rob, my instructor.